Welcome to Moving Math and Science. In this video, let's <clears throat> work on some specific heat problems. And I like to use this triangle because I just think it makes it easy to A, remember, and B, set up the equation. Q obviously stands for the heat or the energy change. The M is mass. The C is specific heat. And this is the change in, tri um, change in temperature. And um, let's work the first example, and you'll see a little idea how the triangle works, okay? It says, how much would the temperature change when 9,314, excuse me, it should be 9,314 and 69 one hundredths joule of heat is applied to 55 grams of ethyl alcohol, which has a specific heat of 2 and 4,194, what is that, 10 thousandths joules. So, let's just see what we have. We need temperature change, which is this. So we're going to go temperature change, okay? You can set it to X or whatever, but I'm going to go temperature change equals Q, and Q is um, given as, uh, is right here. So it is 9314-69. Remember your joules, I mean your units. And then we're looking for the specific heat, and that is right here. Okay, joules per grams in Celsius. And then it looks like we need the mass, and the mass is 55 grams. Okay, so now all we do is just do the math. Uh, I'm going to first multiply this times this and uh, i'll tell you what that is okay so it is 133 and 67th uh, thousandths and so now all we do is we just bring q down okay before we do that guys let's um let's cancel units the joules are going to cancel uh, this grams will cancel because technically this is on the bottom and all we're left is Celsius. And so now I just divide uh, 9314 divided by 133067 and that equals 70. Okay, so you have a change, uh, the temperature changed, excuse me, went up. 70 degrees when you apply this to it. Okay, so that's the first example using this. Let's work another one. Okay, uh, again, a couple of advantages to the triangle is I think it's a little easier to visualize this. You just need to, uh, you just write Q on the top, then you go M times C, change in temperature, and that way if you need what Q is, you just know that you multiply all this across, etc. Okay, let's work our next one. It says 75 gram sample of steel is heated from 20 degrees to 215 using 6,573 and 94 uh, hundredths of heat. What is specific, excuse me, what is the specific heat of the steel? I have a hard time saying specific. So let's see what we have, okay? So what we're looking for is the specific heat heat, and that is this. So I'm going to say C equals Q, which is right here, and remember it's always in joules, okay, and then over, and let's see what we have. We know that we have a mass of 75 grams, and a specific, excuse me, we're looking for specific heat, but what's the change in temperature? Well, it went up 195 degrees because it went from 20 to 215, 195, and it looks like that's in Celsius. So now all we do is, once again, let's just do the math and then we'll cancel units. Okay, when I multiply 75 times 195, it's 14,625. I'm going to take Q and divide that by that number. Okay, and then we'll worry about the units in just a second, so let me do that. Okay, and when you divide 6,573 and 94 hundredths by 14,625, you get this. Let's see what the unit is, okay? So let's see what cancels. Actually, nothing cancels. 
Okay, so it's joules over grams times uh, specific heat. And that is uh, what specific heat actually is. And that's not, C is not specific heat, that's Celsius, sorry. Okay, so there we go. I think the triangle is helpful. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.